Hey guys, so today um, I'm going to be talking about link bonding or um, link aggregate or aggregation or however you say it um, today in uh, Ubuntu. Um, so what is it? Basically what it is is it takes two or more network interfaces like network interface cards and combines them into one making it so um, you get increased fault you get fault tolerance so if one of the network interface cards dies or one of the connections becomes unstable or pulled out for some reason the other one will still be up and it will take over the job of the first one um, it also gives you a little bit of a performance increase so how do we do it well there's a number of different ways to do this but this is the easiest way that I found for me um, I've already done it on this server, um, so I'm not going to be hitting enter when I uh, issue the commands, but first what you're going to want to do is go sudo su and enter your password. And what that's going to do is it's going to make you the root user because you're going to need uh, administrative permissions to um, do this. If you don't have um, uh, the administrative privileges, then you're not going to be able to do this, so if you need to like go ask your supervisor or whatever and they'll probably they might give you the password um, first what you're gonna wanna do is install um, IF and slave IF and slave is the program that helps bridge the two connections together um, first so you're gonna wanna do sudo apt get update that's gonna update your repositories and then you're gonna wanna do sudo apt get install if and slave. I will put all the commands in that I've used in the um, uh, description so you don't have to worry. So once you just install if and slave and it will auto configure, um, you're going to want to do issue a command that will go sudo oh, yeah, touch Let's see, let's see if I can remember this right. Uh, mod probe dash D bonding dot com. What this is going to do is it's going to create a file in Etsy mod probe dot D called bonding dot com, and that's your configuration file. Once you've created that file, you're going to want to um, CD to that directory and um, edit the file. So I'm going to do, um, I use vi, you can use nano or vim or whatever, but vi, um, blah, 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 what was it again? Let's see, mod pro dot, oh wait, dot d slash and it's going to open up with a blank one but this is what I've I've already done this um, alias bond bond zero dot bonding so that's the alias is basically just what's what's that interface that you're going to be used called and we named it here bond zero um, bonding is to say that it's a bond it's a bonded um, what do you call it it's a bonded connection. Op, uh, options. These are your options. Um, your bonding mode. That's a big contributor and something that you're going to have to really think about because there's six modes. I'll explain them. There's mode zero is balanced round robin. Mode one is active backup. Um, mode two is balanced ZOR. Uh, mode three is broadcast. Mode four is IEEE um, 802 dot 3ad dynamic link aggregation um, mode 5 is balanced transmit load balancing and mode 6 is balanced adaptive load balancing so just let me pull up my cheat sheet here um, to, to help you ex help explain the different the different um, modes well route so here here we go Round robin. Um, what round robin does is it transmits packets in sequential order from the first avail available slave to the last. Um, so what it does is it will 
uh, what do you call it, it will send one packet on one interface, then one on the other interface, and one on the under, other end just cascade through. Uh, what that provides is load balancing and fault tolerance. That could that um, could be that you can choose these depending on your configuration. I've chosen mode five, and I'll explain later why. Um, mode one is active backup. Active backup um, is only one slave in the bond is active. Um, a different slave becomes active. Um, if and only if the active slave fails. The bond's MAC address is externally visible to only one port, um, so to avoid confusing the switch, this mode provides fault tol or that's to um, avoid confusing the switch. This mode provides fault tolerance. Um, the primary option uh, affects the behavior of this mode, if that made sense. So mode 2, balance Zor. Um, it transmits based on um, the source MAC addresses, Zord with destination MAC addresses, um, and the module slave count. This selects the same slave for each destination MAC address. This mode provides load balancing and fault tolerance. To be honest, I didn't really get what they said there, but okay. <laughs> um, broadcast. Um, the broadcast policy transmits everything on all slave interfaces. It provides fault tolerance, but it does not provide load balancing. Um, so, but now mode 4 is a special one. You need to have special um, equipment for this. Um, the IEEE 802.3 AD dynamic link aggregation. That one creates um, aggregation groups that share the same speed and duplex settings. Um, it utilizes all slaves in the active ag um, aggregator according to the 802.380 specification. This one is used a lot, um, this, as is um, round robin. But the only problem is this one is that you need um, F you need ftool support in the base drivers for retrieving the speed and duplex of each slave. Plus, you need a switch that supports. Um, IEEE 802.80 dynamic link aggregation. Most switches will require some configuration to get that working properly and to enable that mode. Um, so like your average desktop switch is probably not going to work. You're going to need like a 24 port like enterprise switch that is managed. Um, Mode 5 is the one that I've got here, and um, Mode 5 is Adaptive lo Transmit Load Balancing, so it's a channel bonding that does not require any special switch support. Um, the outgoing traffic is distributed according to the current load um, on each slave, so if, if one is loaded really hard and the other isn't, it will start um, sending on the one that's not so loaded. Um, Incoming traffic is received by the current slave. If this um, receiving slave fails, another slave takes over the MAC address of the failed receiving slave. So it provides the load balancing sending, but not receiving. Um, the thing with this one too is you need ftool support in the base drivers. Same, kind of the same thing as the mode four. Mode 6 is adaptive load balancing, so um, it basically is the same as mode 5, but it adds load balancing um, to the incoming traffic, not just the outgoing traffic. Um, and it does this by uh, ARP um, negotiation, and it um, screws around with ARP requests and things like that. So I've got mode 5 because that's just what I'm using right now. Um, Minmon 100, I'm not quite sure what that does to be honest. Down delay 200 and up delay 200. These just put the what's in here, don't really fool around with that. You should be fine. Um, after that is done, you have to find the MAC address of um, F0, which is your main interface. Because one of the main reasons why people do link aggregation is like with my server I know when I installed Ubuntu on it it said what's the um, what main interface do you want to use and I said F0 so I used F0 but the other interface I have isn't even in the um, 
the interfaces file so it's not even being used so this is a way to get both of them to be used and provide some fault tolerance and a performance increase so after you're done writing this file you just write WQ or first you hit after you've done insert which is you hit I and you type what you want to type then you hit escape then you hit um, colon WQ and that will write and quit the program so once that's done you need to find the MAC address of your um, of your network interface. So you go ifconfig, and it will show you um, the MAC address of your um, of your uh, what do you call it? Your I keep forgetting the name. Damn it! The uh, the network interface card. So you can see I've got a bunch here. Loopback. F1, F0, and Bond0. Um, F0 is the one that you only really need. Um, LO is the loopback. Um, it's the local loopback network interface. And then F0 is the, my main interface. So you're going to want to look at where it says HW uh, adder or address and write down your MAC address. That's important. Um, now what you want to go is go to Vi um, Etsy, Etsy and then network then interfaces and it's going to come up with this, this file. What you're going to want to do is um, this is of course not going to be here and this stuff here is not going to be um, commented out. Anything to do with F0, you're going to want to comment out. So, um, auto F0, face F0, I net DHCP, comment all that out just by adding the um, number sign. Then add this. So what I've done is I've put a comment saying the primary bonding interface, just so I know what it is. Um, auto bond zero, so it's going to auto start our um, our uh, what do you call it? Our interface, interface bond zero, um, inet, and then static. So static means that it's a static IP address and it's not DHCP. You normally want to keep it a static IP address with the server. I've found just from personal experience because with DHCP, if you're um, if say you have a file server and then a another server that relies on that file server for files if the um, IP address changes on the um, file server just because like say there's a power outage or something and um, your router resets its table well you're screwed <laughs> And you have to go in and completely reconfigure everything. So I've just made all my servers have static IP addresses so I know exactly what IP address is which. So after you type in static, you're going to put your address. So the address is the, um, is like your, the address that you want for the server. So 192.168.0.100 is the one I've chosen. The net mask, this can change. You're going to want to get the net mask, and if you don't know your net mask, you can either use online calculators to figure it out, or you can go on your router's configuration settings, and it should say in there. The network, now, this is a class C network. Um, I have it so it says 192.168.0.0. So if yours is 192.168.1.100 or something, it would be 192.168.1.0. Um, the broadcast address is your the first three octets of the IP, and then the last thing, which is the subnet mask. So if this is this part always gets confusing with me. Sometimes I use calculators a lot, um, but the 255 you can see 255 down there. The default gateway 192.168.1.1 that or 192.168.0.1 that's just the IP the local IP address of your router, and then you put I then that that then you put HW address ether which is Ethernet and then your um your MAC address of that of your network interface card which is what we talked about earlier. 
and then post up if and slave bond zero and then all of the um, network interface is that you want to use so these are the slaves basically so I got f0 and f1 and you can put f3 f4 f f5 blah 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 just depending on how many network interfaces you have on your computer um, f if you have more than two I would probably suggest using round robin as a um, as it instead of like one of the other modes but I only have two so I'm fine there um, then you just go WQ reboot your computer and do if config and you should see the bond zero with the other ones and then you can do links www.google.com and since I'm not connected to the internet right now it's not going to come up with anything but just to make sure that you're connected to the internet this is um, this will tell you this is actually a really primitive uh, web browser it's text based thought it was really cool um, Oops, one sec. Cancel. Exit. Yes. So then just reboot the, the server and um, it should be fine. Um, so if you guys have any questions, just leave me a message or a. Um, in e and you can even send me an email on my website. Um, we do have a new forum. Um, just let me actually quit out of putty for a second. Log out. Um, it's forum.qsoftstudios.com and it's not going to load because I'm connected to my other network. Unplug the <laughs> network interface cable. Um, forum. There we go. Um, yeah, so this is our PHPBB forum. Um, there's not very many posts right now because we've still kind of started it up and there's not very many people there. So if you guys would like to go up and um, sign up and we talk anything from Minecraft to case modding. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, like I said, just e shoot me an email, send me a message on the forum, or just um, leave a comment and I'll be sure to get back to you. So comment, rate, and subscribe.